Hey, Fox, do you want to grab us a trail, buddy? It's fun? Hey, mate. They've got almost 2 million Instagram followers. They've got their own beer, their own podcast, and now the Inspired Unemployed have their own TV show. It's called The Inspired Unemployed Impractical Jokers, and you can stream it on Paramount Plus or watch it on Channel 10 on Wednesday nights. They dropped into news.com.au to tell us about the pranks that almost ended up in punch-ups, who the best celebrity they've ever met is, and they reveal the bizarre place they like to have deep and meaningfuls with one another. The Inspired Unemployed Impractical Jokers, how did it come about? Did you approach them? Did they approach you? The that, tongue twister yeah, that one, eh? Yeah. The Inspired Unemployed <laughs> Impractical Jokers. It's a long one. You did well. But um, no, they reached out to us. We got a call from Warner Brothers one day. Um, and yeah, so we at the time, we've always wanted to do a TV show. It's been like our dream since like the start. And within like a month, we got like three different offers. Mm. And we're like, from what the hell is yeah. crazy? And then this was the last one. And we're like, this is just fits us perfect. Yeah. Um, it just felt right. We're yeah. playing golf at the time too, and we're like, "Come on, we're playing golf. Like, we're doing business deals on the golf course." <laughs> yeah, just to <laughs> get the cigar would have been yeah. perfect. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we got the call, and then had some meetings with them, and we're like, "This would be perfect. This would be so much fun to do." So yeah, we locked it in and did our first TV show, which is cool. Temperatures are fine, but you're really hot. Temperatures fine, but you're really hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. It's amazing. So basically the premise, for those who haven't seen it yet, it is a prank show. Uh, one of you gets put into a scenario with members of the public. You have an earpiece and you have to do and say everything that the <laughs> other members of the Inspired yeah. Unemployed are telling them what to do. Uh, what was the most confronting scenario oh, that you guys <laughs> took part in? That's probably the hardest question in the world to answer. <laughs> every, every single one. Every day on set was so hard. I mean... First episode, I'm doing a wedding speech to 300 people that don't know who I am, and the boys wrote me a speech that I had to read out, calling the the best man heads and and like saying 50% of marriages will fail. And, and he has a, he doesn't he doesn't know what it is until it's actually happening, so he has no yeah. idea what the speech is. It's so, like you Falcons doing stand up comedy in front of 300 people wow. to a sold out show with no material. Um, oh, it was horrible. Like with some bad and openers. Getting, and getting shocked, we had a shock collar, getting shocked. So like, so. If you so in the normal things, so say we're like posing as restaurant, like waiting restaurants, whatever, we all get a go at it. And if you if you don't do what one of the others tell you, you get punished for it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so so all the punishments were the, the really hard things because right. we all know each yeah. other so well. We know each other's weaknesses, so we really played into that. Um, and you can't back out of the punishment. No, nah, no, you, no, you have to. And when you're yeah, in there, yeah. you want to so bad the whole time. You're like, I don't want to do this, and they're like, you have to. It's a punishment. And you and literally like, no. have to do everything they say in a punishment. Everything. Would you guys be, would you guys be open and would like, would you guys like to have an orgy? There was uh, a scene I saw where there's a bikey looking dude, and he oh. um, doesn't seem to oh. enjoy some of the comments you make, especially when you ask him if he wants to take part in an orgy. <laughs> oh. Was there a oh. moment where you were like, oh my God, I might actually get punched in one of these scenarios? That, yeah, that was me. I, was, oh. I remember when out my group came in, so we were posing to be, um, what was it, spiritual Yeah, wellness leaders. Well, yeah. Wellness, yeah, yeah, wellness people. Instructive wellness yeah, people. Yeah, wellness, all to do wellness. And then... He walked in the room and I was like, are you kidding me? How do I have this guy in my group? This it, big bikey looking guy. And apparently he just got brought there from a friend to do his like first ever trial. So like, <laughs> so he, he wasn't a wellness person. This yeah. guy looked like he bashed people for a living. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I, and then they had to like ask if he's, or if the group's keen to have an orgy. And I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. But also I really can't get punished. So I did it. And he was he was wigging out. He was just looking at me like he wanted to kill what me. What did he say after? He's like he's like, what's the other orgy part? Yeah, yeah. And he, goes, he goes, is that like juice or something? Like <laughs> you the orgy juice? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's juice, it's juice. Yeah. What's the orgy bit about? Yeah. So was that as bad as it got, or was there another scenario where someone like took a swing at you or anything like that? So the first stunt we did ever, like the first day filming, the first thing we ever did was Jack. So he lost he lost the rock off, and he had to go first. And the first person he ever did, like the first thing. Ever. I know I can't express first thing yeah, enough. Say, but say like, it one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the first thing we ever did, he there got is. this guy and he kind of ended up roughing him up. He was head. he was very... Well, that was a big build-up for a bad story. That was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, well, yeah. Yeah, so Just what happened nowhere. was we were feeding him lines. He didn't, the guy's never playing golf before and Jack was pretending to be a golf instructor. And we were kind of saying to Jack, like, every time he hits, he goes, oh... Yeah, I can't watch this. Like, yeah, you know, right. and he's going, "Well, help me then." And I was, because I was the instructor, and you're in this intimate box. It's like a room like this, like yeah. just you two in the room, and 
And he's like, well, help me then. I'm like, mate, I can't even watch. I'm going to vomit. And he's like, every time he hit the ball, I was like, oh, yuck. And he got so angry. Yeah, because storming out. A, a lot more happened. This is built up after like 20 minutes of me being a little bit mean. But at the start, it, it wasn't always me. It wasn't me. And this is the first one. So we're trialing out how the show was working. Yeah. And, like, and then we realized, like, don't be mean. Don't be that. Don't push him that far. Yeah. You know, the joke's more on us. But, yeah, he, he, like, stormed out with the reddest face. And he just walked straight past me. And he's, like, go, he's gone. And we, then I ran out. And I was like, hey, mate, it's just a show. Like, it's all a joke. And they can't process it. So, like, it takes him five minutes, I reckon, to turn around yeah. from the processing part. And, uh, yeah, so he was seeing Red, his wife, come out. And she's like, oh, it was a joke. And he still didn't know what was going on. And then after about the five minutes, then he, like, really warmed up and started right. to laugh. And then he was, like, stoked about yeah. it. So we're going to see that one? Yes. 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 You okay. will. How about this Philly on the fifth, fellas? Put a 50 on it. You know, I'll give you a sh- you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a yes or no? You guys have met so many massive celebrities, by the way. I know you didn't add with Shaq recently. Uh, if I put a gun to your head and said best celebrity you've met so far, who would it be? Margot. I'm going to say Margot. Yeah. Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. Yeah. Just so. Cool. Just Australians Aussie. get along with Australians. Yeah. yeah. Just real relatable. Just felt like a, I don't know, like a sister. Oh, not a sister. Like, I don't know, just a mate. <laughs> a good looking one. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sister, you, yeah. Sister, you can date. Yeah, no. sister, you want to kiss. <laughs> sister, you want to kiss. No, it's my new sister. I'm Shtly Dooley. It's bloody Margot Robbie. It's bloody Margot, you idiot. It's a silent tea. And was there a celebrity that you guys didn't get on with or that didn't warm to you guys? Not really. Like, no, nah, I don't no, reckon. Do you? Really. Well, we haven't met that many celebrities. Like, big, big dogs. But I don't know. No, nah, yeah, I'm sure they're coming. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I feel like all of them, I feel like they're bigger than person honestly the nicer yeah because they feel like they don't have anything to prove anymore yeah they're just like treat everyone with respect and i mean i'm sure there is bad ones out there but we've had good experiences hey yeah can't remember anyone bad (laughs) frosty the goat man (laughs) you guys spend so much time with each other i mean you have for years now how do you solve arguments or disagreements when you have them? On the piss when we're really like banged up in a toilet at like three in the morning. That's when we have our big DNA. Really? <laughs> banged up in a toilet? Yeah, yeah. That sounded good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll like piss in the toilet, you yeah. know, and like. Why in a toilet? I don't know. I feel in like the trough. In the trough. You know, I feel like that's just where we've had most of our like DMs. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Sort of. Or out. a bedroom somewhere. Okay. Yeah, cool. um, but yeah no, it's true. And it does all come out. Then, or you just, I feel like we telepathically know, like when mm. something's off, like, you know, when it, we're uh, about a script or a decision of anything, I can tell when he's off it and he can tell when I'm off it, or we can tell, you know, if, you, if you're like, mm. are right about something, you normally push it harder and you're like, oh, if they're pushing it harder, they must yeah. stand pretty strong with it. So you just back down. Biggest blow up you've ever had? I don't think, what do you reckon? I don't even know if I've had one. <laughs> I don't think we've ever yelled at each other. It's more passive. Yeah, it's yeah. not even, I don't know. Yeah. When was the biggest... We've never no. actually had a blow up. No, nah, not really. No blow up. Like, the things might... We might end up having a chat, like, <laughs> after a lot of things have, like, Therapy. happened. But it's more like a, a civil chat where, like, it's just like, this is how I'm feeling, that's how you're feeling, and then we just work it out. Yeah. Well, congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on the inspired, unemployed, impractical jokers. It is a cracking show. Lads, you're killing it. Well done. Yeah, thank, thank you, you. Very, very much. much.